New video today taken Wednesday about 3.30 in the afternoon. Look at the entrance to the Louis Vuitton store at Oak Brook Center. A crew of criminals, 14 suspects according to police, working together in the store and driving away in three vehicles. Once they entered the store, uh, they pulled out their, the garbage bags from, the, from their uh, coats and, and started uh, filling, uh, filling them with merchandise. Oak Brook's police chief says they are following leads today, including license plate numbers for the criminals' getaway cars. We do have some information on the vehicles. Uh, we're, we're holding back that information right now, but, uh, but certainly we're working those leads in order to identify the potentially identify the suspects. Police say they swiped about $100,000 worth of merchandise, and that's shocking for shoppers. This is pretty safe area. We come here all the time with kids, play, kids play outside. You don't expect to see that kind of thing happen happening outside of the city too because I actually moved in from the city just recently so I thought I escaped all of that. And this isn't the only Louis Vuitton case. Another one happened last month 30 miles from here in the northern suburbs. In that case, Northbrook police say 13 thieves and three getaway drivers targeted this store at Northbrook Court Mall, stealing $66,000 worth of merchandise. We don't know if there is a, an actual connection yet, but certainly there are similarities and our investigators are talking to their investigators. Back in Oak Brook, thieves essentially clear the shells before running away. Police now turning to the attorney general who has formed a task force for these types of crimes. The attorney general is looking at this investigation as well and whether or not uh, to tie it to a, a larger scale investigation. The chief says shoppers are safe at Oak Brook Center. As for the criminals, the chief says if caught, they'll work with the state's attorney to prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. In Oak Brook, Stacey Baca, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.